And we're back, episode four, in sheep's clothing. A woolly jumper, sounds Hi, good. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. Hi, Nerissa. <laughs> said it before he said it. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Doesn't look like it. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. All right. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... Hmm. Might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Mm. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you... Are you telling me my friends are involved? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's Just holding right. a head off? I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I get it. So the ribbons, if 
you'd take them off. If anyone finds out, I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. Oop, jealous Sorry, size. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Oh. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Yeah, we got the message. That was pretty what clear. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Oh, that's right. Good work. Mm-hmm. Tied ahead so, on. about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. All right, then. Well, we know what the murder weapon was. Yeah, the guess the, the ribbons and when Crane was so over. Her, oh, I mean. <laughs> yeah, they're having an uh, squabble, apparently. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. Here, let me pause it. What's up? Yeah, so when Crane was uh, leaning over the body in that photo, he could have been taking the ribbon off of off of her that might have been what was going on yeah this really throws a kink into pretty much everything because you realize that if that's the way they were killed is their ribbons were just taken off anyone could have done it because it's just as simple as yanking it you know like yeah anyone that knows how they work uh and has the, the um potential to just reach up and grab it and yank it could have been the murderer so it's pretty uh, it, like, it, it throws a lot of suspects back in, and we're back at to square one. Um, they wouldn't even have to do it maliciously, right? They may not even have to know that the ribbon does that. They just take the ribbon off. Like, Crane, for example, might know it was a spell that was keeping them from talking, but not know it was going to rip their head off. Yeah, so, and it could have been a complete accident. Yeah. So it, it, it's really something to think about, but it's one of the mysteries from the start of the game that we've had lingering up in the air for a while. And it's kind of cool that we've uh, finally gotten clarity on, uh, on it. And we know how all of them were killed. They weren't, uh, well, I guess they could have been killed with the ax, but it's very unlikely at this point. It looks like it was the ribbons on both of them. Yeah, but th the other thing is that both the heads were delivered to the doorstep, so even if they were accidental in some way, someone maliciously dumped those heads on the 
on the ground. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. That's that is something to consider. All right, you know, I'm gonna pause it and uh, make this an episode. It might be a little short, but this is a pretty good pause, uh, considering the weight of uh, what we just found out. Um, and next time we'll go talk to Beauty and Beast about what their part in all of this is and see what's up with them. So, I'll see you guys next time on The Wolf Among Us. Hi.